Hi, welcome to Burning Cereal. My name is Lisa and today we'll be making a traditional hummus. So let's get started. Okay, so the ingredients we'll be using today is some kosher salt, some olive oil, some garbanzo beans, which are also known as chickpeas, some sesame tahini, which is just ground sesame seed. You can actually use your own sesame seeds if you want to, but it's a pain, so just this is easier. Uh, also some cumin, lemons, and some minced garlic. Let's make some hummus. Okay, so first we wanna start off by taking our garbanzo beans and we're just gonna throw them in a saucepan. And we're gonna go ahead and throw that on the stove, put it on a medium boil for about five to 10 minutes while we start getting everything else ready. So I'm gonna put this on and then we'll go to our next step. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the lemon juice, the tahini, and also the olive oil. So let's do that. And then we're going to puree that. It's two tablespoons, by the way, of olive oil. And then we're going to pu puree that for <clears throat> about 30 seconds. The lemon juice. And last but not least, the tahini. So 30 seconds there. Okay, so I actually only did probably like maybe 10 to 15 seconds because this food processor, which happens to be the sets processor, was really fast. So I'm gonna say that food processing times are gonna vary. So what we did was we went ahead and scraped all the sides down and we'll go ahead and add our minced garlic, which was four garlic cloves. Put that in. And then we're also gonna add a half of a teaspoon of the kosher salt. I tried this one time on one recipe with one full tablespoon and ugh, it was way too salty. So I would just stick with the half. I think it's plenty. Maybe with regular salt, it would be different. But with the kosher salt, you only need a half. Same with the cumin, half a tablespoon. And then we'll puree, puree that for about uh, 10 seconds. <laughs> so I don't think we'll need longer than that. And then we'll come back. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside for one second. And we have our chickpeas that we boiled. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take those and put them in this strainer. And the reason is, is that near the end, once it starts to become really well done, it'll get real kind of thick and you want some sort of you know, some recipes call for water, but I think it's better to actually just use the chickpea juice that came out of the can. So we'll just kind of set that there and we'll save it for when we're done putting this in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put probably about half of this in, we'll puree it, and we'll put the other half in. So let's do that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and scrape these edges back down again, right before we add our garbanzo beans, chickpeas. Um, also for the show today, I actually went through and took 
each chickpea has like a little layer of skin on it and I pulled each layer of skin off. It actually makes a smoother hummus, but it's not necessary. You don't have to do it. So, but I did it for the show today, in case anybody was wondering. So we're pouring about half of that in there. And then we'll do this for, uh, normally I would say about a minute, but on this, this puree, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for 30 seconds, so. Okay, here's where we look at the moment. And we'll go ahead and finish adding. Also just kind of scrape the sides. Finish adding the rest of the chickpeas. And do that for about another 30 seconds and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so we finished that and you can see it is kind of a little thick. So we wanna soften it up just a little bit more. So what we'll do, we'll put the lid back on and then in the top here, we'll go ahead and pour a little bit of that juice in. And what we want to do is kind of just keep checking in the little hole to see if it looks like it's smooth enough. And if it's not, we'll pour a little bit more in. So we'll just keep doing that. Okay, need to scrape the sides again. Everything just kind of collects on the side. So we'll push that in. Do another few seconds and it should be ready. All right, take a look at that. Doesn't that look great? It looks a lot smoother, not so thick. So now we'll go ahead and throw this in a bowl and we'll put it in the fridge for probably about 15 minutes and then it'll be ready to serve. All right. all right, so we have our hummus all done. I went ahead and garnished it with a little bit of paprika and some oil. So let's give it a taste and see how it is. Wow, it tastes just like you would get it from this store. <laughs> and the dogs are gonna come and try a bite too. <laughs> the dog hears me crunching on food and he comes right over. It's great. Anyways, if you get a chance, subscribe, check out all of our videos on YouTube. And um, I hope that you guys can send us some recipes because we really would like to cook some of your food. So thanks and we'll see you next time. Hi, welcome to Burning Cereal. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Burning Cereal. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Burning Cereal. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Burning Cereal. My name is Lisa and today we'll be making a traditional hummus along with the dog walking around in the background. Wow! Um, you can get just regular sesame seeds if you want. <laughs> um, and if you get a chance, subscribe to our website. <laughs> The dog is sniffing my arm.